Hi, I'm Miss Chow from The Piano Solution. So today I'll be showing you one of the Grade 5 pieces selected from 2023 and 2024 syllabus. So this is C1 called In the Groove by Mike Kornick. So he was very well known of his jazz piano compositions. And this piece is a jazz piece and the rhythm is marked to be played swing. So now what is swing? To make it easy, I always encourage my students to think of a long short rhythm pattern. So for example, we used to play straight or even quavers like this. Which is our one and two and three and four and right? So if you swing it, you make it uneven the first quaver, we will play with a value of crotchet followed by quaver. So, the counting I would suggest is 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and which is our long shot. Long shot, long shot, long shot, long shot. Doesn't matter if your first quaver is a rest or the rest comes after, you still have to follow the crotchet and quaver rules, which is the long shot. Okay, so the overall triplet feel is also very similar to swing quavers. One E and two E and three E and four E and this is what we've learned, right? So, for example, I will show you the first bar, right hand melody, with this Right, can you feel it? Long, short, two, E, and long, short, long, short. So the long falls on, it's on the quiver rest. So the overall feel has to be played in a relaxed and laid back way. So in order to bring out the essence of the groove right, the composer adds on saying that the degree of swing which the player applies to quaver movement, however, is a matter of interpretation and need not to be treated with absolute mathematical precision. So just sit back and relax while playing this jazz piece. Okay, without further ado, let's look at bar 1 until bar 6. So this 6 bars melody shows a certain motif or a sequence, which also means your melody idea is same but you play it in a different notes. So for example, the melody here shows By playing these first three bars, you could have actually noticed the melody goes descending step by step and it keeps the same melody idea there and followed by bar 5 Right? So, for the left hand part, harmony part, however, so many notes to press, you might be wondering what, what are they? And there are so many, how am I gonna memorize? So, I will advise students to try, analyze, and understand what is the piece trying to tell us. So, the first bar, you, we have two chords here. The first chord, we will come up with F major 7. F major chord with a major 7 interval and I'm speaking of sometimes the left hand harmony reflects the right hand melody that's why we will analyze both hands at the same time and see what we can come up with and then followed by G dominant 7 which is our primary chord F B D okay and then on the upbeat E minor 7 E, B, D without the G and then semitone down E flat dominant 7 without the G as well without the third note and then upbeat descending one semitone to D minor 7 D, F, A, C okay and then followed by G7 second inversion D, F, G, B and then this is a perfect cadence that resolves to C major 7. 
Okay, next up, C minor 7, C E flat, G B flat, and then F dominant 7, C E flat, F A, and then B flat major 7. Yes, so this series of chord progression are actually very nice. It goes by descending. Okay, so now I'm going to show you both hands bar 1 to bar 6. Bar 7 and 8, it feels more like a break from the beginning of the melody and what we are able to analyze here the chords are A minor 7 on the upbeat A, G, C, E followed by a D dominant 7 D, F sharp, A and then next followed by A flat dominant 7 okay, A flat, G flat, C and E flat and G7. So let me show you bar 7 and 8. 